In this video, we're taking a look at troubleshooting when a station or stations fail to connect. When a station fails to connect, you'll often see the failed to connect window with the search and connect buttons at the bottom. The first thing we have to do is determine, is it just one station that can't connect? If the problem is isolated to just one, then it's likely it's a, a networking problem with that station. So check to see if you can access another program on the network or something on the internet. And if all else fails, reboot. If all of your stations can't connect, then it's likely that the problem can be resolved on your Venga server. So let's locate and sign in to your Venga server. Your Venga server should look something like this. You'll want to locate the V running in the system tray in the lower right hand corner. If the V is green, that means your server is running. If it's red, it's not. Sometimes the V can be hidden in the sysray. If that's the case, just click on the arrow to find it. And if you don't find it there, it may be that the server manager was just closed. If that was the case, just locate the server manager shortcut on your desktop and run it. Once you've done this, then the V will show in your sysray. So to stop and start your server, just right click on the V, find the top menu option to stop the Venga server. And within a few seconds, it should stop. And then we'll right click on it again to start the server. Once the server is started back up, you can go back to one of your Venga workstations and try to reconnect. If the failed to connect screen is still displayed from before, just click on the search button to find the server.